What's up, guys? Well, it's that time. It is demo time. So we're going to go ahead and demo this uh, little Bluetooth module. So what I've got is I've got our freshly scribed board. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, try to do this one-handed. Um, basically, I've got our... Uh, sorry for the bouncing around. Basically, I've got our board. I had a little oops here that I had to patch, but nothing minor. Um, the The actual version of the board, the actual uh, hardware version that I sent out that is posted on the site, is the good version. This was I, I made a boo boo and I've corrected it, but the uh, the version that you guys can download is the corrected version. So anyway, so let's take you on a tour of this guy. So here's our Bluetooth module. Okay, that shows you kind of how small. It really is. Um, you can see my finger. It is actually it's quite quite small. I thought it was going to be bigger than uh, what it actually is. But um, let's let's see. Like uh, oh, here's here's like a standard screwdriver. So you know, there you go. You know, it's it's pretty small. So anyway, in any case, put that back. Okay. So what we've got is we've got our two LEDs. I've got a green LED. Uh, whoops get my finger out of the way. Uh, got a green LED and the blue LED. Okay, and then of course they're, they're resistors, corresponding resistors. Down here underneath all of this mess is the dip switches. And the reason I didn't care about bending these wires out of the way before is because it didn't matter. This one is, I think, a six, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this one's a six position dip switch. Um, works just fine. I just use four of the six positions for this. Um, then there's the four resistors for it pretty straightforward that's all there is to that um, and then down here this other little chip down here this is the uh, Cypex uh, or Max uh, depending on who you buy it from uh, the 232 transceiver chip so there's the charge pump capacitors um, a couple of, of resistors for some uh, uh, whatever it is those those 1k resistors that are in there for the uh, receive and transmit um, as well as I've got down here let's see if I can Zoom out far enough. Well, maybe not. But I've got my uh, uh, RS-232 uh, plug. So I've got it all wired in where it goes. And then this is just one of those, in fact, I think I can show it to you, one of those cheap little USB to RS-232. I actually have a video that shows you how to make one of these. But basically, that's what I have. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug it in get it all powered up, and then I think we'll probably do um, do one of those split screen things, and I'll put the uh, computer screen um, right down here, so that way you can see uh, the terminal window for the computer screen. And I'm going to put my phone right here, which will have the app on it that I'll use to connect to this guy. So let me go ahead and get things plugged in, wired up, and we'll be right back with it all. Okay, guys. We got everything pretty well put together. I got my VM box here. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening up a terminaling application for this. Uh, what, the one that I like to use is TerraTerm. Uh, it's one that you can download for free. And it's just basically, like I said, it's just a terminaling server. It's like HyperTerm or whatever. And since Windows 7 does not come with HyperTerm or anything like that, uh, you got to get one. So this one is free. You can download it. I'll put the link in the description. Let's go ahead and run it, shall we? What we're going to do is we're uh, going to monitor a serial port. So we're going to choose serial. We'll choose our USB to serial uh, COM port is the port that we're going to be using. Then we need to go, let's see, we'll go ahead and make this bigger. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll go up into the setup and we want to set up the serial port uh, because what we want to do is under the baud rate, we want to change that to the uh, higher one since I didn't set Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to smack the microphone here. Um, since I didn't set it to uh, pull it up to a high, whichever pin that was, 6 or 7, whichever one that was, um, it's going to default to the 115-200, okay? So I'm going to choose 115-200, click OK. Now our terminal should be all set up. So now let's go over to the bench and set up our uh, Bluetooth communication with uh, our Android phone. So now we're over here at our bench. Uh, got my Android phone uh, out here. There is an app that you can download. Um, I believe it's called like Bluetooth Pro. Um, we'll look at it here in just a minute. Um, let me uh, see if I can maybe I'll just zoom in on the phone here. 
Okay, let's go ahead and kick it on here. Alrighty. So <clears throat> now what we need to do first is we need to power up our device. So what we're going to do is I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the LEDs going on here. So we're going to go ahead and power it up. Good old 3 3 volts. Okay, we got our blinking light. So that's good. Um, and it's a slow blinking light, or at least the, sl the slower of the two uh, blinking lights. <clears throat> what that means is that the device is ready. It's discoverable and ready to go. I've got my Bluetooth turned on on my phone. I'll zoom in a little bit more on the phone so you can see this. We're going to choose scan. Okay, so now it's going to scan uh, any nearby Bluetooth devices. So this may take a minute <clears throat> for it to complete, but it should discover uh, should discover a device, which I may not have Bluetooth enabled. So we may I may have to go check that in my phone. So you got to make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled on your phone, otherwise it won't be able to vote. Oh, nope, it found it. Okay, so it took a couple times. I had to scan a couple times. So here it is, um, the RN, RNBT uh, CO42. So it got, it got, it found it. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And then we're gonna choose connect. And it should connect to the device. All right, and it's connected. And if you notice, our blue light is now on and our green light is now solid. So we are now connected to our Bluetooth device through our phone. So that's pretty spiffy. So now what we're gonna do, I'll zoom in on this. What I wanna do is I wanna put it in uh, byte stream mode, okay? And basically what I can do is I can type in, I can type in something using the character keypad and then push send just like a text message and we should see it appear on the uh, terminal window of the PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of back out a little bit. Okay. And we're going to put our, uh, our PC up, uh, down here. Let me scoot this over. We're going to put that, uh, up down here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, I may zoom in and let you guys see it. So let's go ahead and get that going. All right. Okay. So now we're going to type in the famous hello world. There it is. We're going to send that. Whoops. Wolf. World. There we go. All right. Now we're going to send that to the device. And there it is. So um, here we'll take, we'll zoom in on that. All right. So there's the zoom in of the uh, Hello World. As you can see, it has Hello World on it. So there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll shrink that back down. Okay, so now we'll take and we'll, we'll I don't know, we'll type something else. Let's do um, uh, how. Of course, it's hard typing with one hand. Uh, we'll do how are you. Hit enter. And then send. And as you can see, We'll go ahead and we'll zoom in on this one. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. We see the uh, uh, how are you is now sent to the computer through the serial line, through you know through Bluetooth, through serial into the computer. Okay, now we can go the other way. So we're going to go ahead and leave the computer up here. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is, I believe if you go into setup, I think in window, can't remember where it's at. There's a way that you can set up the settings on the terminal where when you type, it will uh, it will show you. There it is, local echo. Um, so where I went is you go to setup, you go to terminal, and the checkbox that's called local echo. Um, basically, if I start typing in the terminal without this check, what it will do is it will cause um, as I'm typing it will actually, um, you won't be able to see what you're typing in the terminal window. You'll just be able to see it if it's being received by what device you're sending it to. You'll only be able to see it on that device. You won't be able to see it in the terminal. So if you want to see it in the terminal, we'll go ahead and choose this local echo and hit OK. And what we'll do is we will say, hello, device, and I 
am doing good today. And then another thing that's interesting is you can't backspace with this, so I spelled today wrong. Um, how are you? Question mark. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll minimize this window and we'll check our device stream. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize the window. Okay, so now that's nice and small. Uh, and check this out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in, so I'm going to get rid of that, and we'll, we'll zoom in. And if you look at it, it waits to receive all the time. We've got, hello device, I am doing good today. How are you? So there we go. Send and receive with the Bluetooth module, the RN42DS Bluetooth module. Well, guys, that's basically it for the demo. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty fun. I could sit here and basically text, text message my computer all day through this. It is fantastic. I have not tried any ranges with this. I may uh, post later on, maybe in the comments or something, uh, the ranges. I may try this, put this, you know, clear across the room, maybe put it, uh, down here, downstairs, where I normally do my electronics, maybe go upstairs in my house, maybe try to go out in the driveway or something, see what kind of range. I think the ranges, it depends. I think it's like 50, 30 and 50 feet or something like that. You know, like 50 feet uh, unobstructed, 30 feet obstructed or something. I can't remember what it actually is. But anyway, that is essentially the way that you communicate with a Bluetooth device and to your PC. Or the beauty of this is since it's RS-232, you could sling a microcontroller on the end of this and talk serially to your microcontroller through its uh, serial interface. And you could build remote controlled cars, remote controlled planes, you could build a remote controlled sign, um, something where you could, you could type whatever words you type on your phone and it prints it out on maybe a dot matrix LCD screen somewhere, or you know, just, you know, world is, you know, you, you let your imagination fly with this. It's a lot of fun, pretty cool device to play with, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys go get one. These are really fun. You can buy basically this, this, this like already put on a board type deal, but it's, I think it's fairly expensive. It's uh, for, for the one that's the board and everything put together, whereas you just scribe your own board. That's what I did. I mean, there's nothing fancy about this, but hey, as you can see, it works. Oops, I'm knocking stuff over over here. As you can see, it works. So, fantastic. You know, uh, it just takes a little time. Go get yourself some PCB board. Usually it's about 10 cents a square uh, inch or square foot or something like that. I can't remember. It's really cheap for some blank PCB. And get yourself some ferric chloride and you're off and running, you know. Get yourself some gloves and stuff not. Be careful with it. And you're off and running. Just grab your own board, throw that baby down and you're ready to rock. In fact, I soldered this and it actually was not that hard to solder. I soldered it with just a normal soldering iron. So, guys, I've rambled long enough. Take care. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure and like, subscribe, share this video. Um, also, uh, check me out on Twitter and Instructables. Um, I post stuff there. This will probably be going up on Instructables as well. Um, I forgot anything else. I hope not. Uh, Take care, guys. Please give me comments, likes, all that fun stuff. I love interfacing with you guys. In fact, this is what I do it for, is for all of you guys sitting at home. Uh, and, that, uh, and maybe even on your mobile devices, whatever. All you guys that watch my videos, I really appreciate all the views. I find it fantastic. I find it a lot of fun. And I get to, get, I get to play with some cool gizmos and get to show you guys how to do it. So that just is the most thrilling thing to me. So thanks again, guys. Take care. We'll see you next time. And with that, that ought to do it. Take care.